Hi, it's Wayne Farrell here from Coaching with NLP, all the way from the North Pole. And let me be the first person to wish you compliments of the season. And in doing so, I also want to give you a number of free gifts. So please stick around to the end of this video. And what I'll also do is I will make all the links available to you below this video so that you can go and claim your gifts. So it's pretty chilly over here. So why don't we head on back to the office and where we can be more comfortable and let's have a quick chat. Ah, that's better. A bit warmer and toasty over here. So let me just ask you, how has this year been for you? Have you achieved all of your goals? Have you achieved those things, those New Year's resolutions that you set out for yourself a short 12 months ago? Have you? What has this year been like for you? Did you create exponential change and exponential growth in your business, in your life? Now if you go back and you look at all the previous years and all the goals that you may have set yourself, the New Year's resolutions from years gone by, how often have you actually achieved those goals? If you have, fabulous. And if you haven't, well, you know what? You might just not have had all the tools available to you at that point in time. And so my question to you really is, as we move into the new year, how are you going to ensure that you achieve your goals for next year? I suppose the first question is, have you already set your goals for the next year? How clear are you on those goals? So there's a number of things that we talk about during the training or a number of aspects in regards to goal setting and actually achieving goals that you may find useful. You need to know what your outcome is. You know, as Alice asked the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland, she said, which road do I take? And the cat answered, well, where would you like to go? And I said, I'm not really sure. And so the cat replied, well, then it doesn't really matter which road you take. And that's the problem. Very often we go through life without having a clear vision, a clear goal of what our outcome is. So the very first step is to ensure that you're absolutely clear on what it is that you want to achieve. And then, as we're clear about that, then of course we need to go and take massive action. So what are the steps, what is the action plan, what are the things that you need to do to go ahead and achieve that goal? Why don't you write that down? Write down and have a clear action plan as to what it is that you need to do. And as you go throughout this exercise or en route to achieving your goal, you need to have sensory acuity. You need to be able to look outside of yourself as well as inside of yourself and notice, is this route that I'm taking, these action steps that I'm taking, are they actually leading me towards my outcome? Am I going to achieve my goal in doing what I'm doing? Now, as Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So we need to have that sensory acuity. We need to be able to notice inside and outside of ourselves, are we actually getting that goal or that outcome that we've set ourselves? And if we are, fabulous, keep on doing more of it. If we're not, then you need to have behavioral flexibility. So you've heard the saying, there's many ways to skin a cat. Well, there are many ways to get to an outcome. Some might be better than others. So if this particular route that you're taking is not leading you to where you want to go, well then, what could you do differently? Who might you be able to ask for help? Do you work with a coach? So having behavioral flexibility means being able to change that thing that you're doing or adapt that plan so that it can actually help you to get to where you want to go. And in doing that, we should always operate from a physiology and a psychology of excellence. Meaning that I must have no doubts about my ability to achieve that goal. Have no doubts in your ability to be able to reach that outcome that you want to reach. If you do, and if you have limiting beliefs and doubts about you being able to do that, 
well, you need to get rid of those because they are only going to hinder you. You know, we believe that you have all the resources inside of yourself already to achieve the outcomes that you want. Because you wouldn't be able to conceive them if they weren't already available to you. It's simply about how do we go ahead and achieve that. What are the steps that I need to take? Is it working? Is it not working? If it's not working, be able to adapt that plan. It's like driving down the motorway and you're on your way to a destination. Now if the road's closed, then of course you'll just reroute and you'll take another road. And that's the same thing in achieving your goals. So if the outcome, if it's not heading in the right direction, then change your route. Change the way and how you're doing, what you're doing, to be able to achieve that. But stay positive about it. Be totally clear on what it is that you want to achieve. Have that, that physiology and that psychology of excellence saying that, you know what, I can achieve that. And carry yourself in that way. You've seen, surely, uh, certainly if you have young children as I do, where Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh would go and answer, somebody would ask him, how are you doing? And he would say, I'm fine. Well, that's really not a psychology and a physiology of excellence, is it? Because I'm fine doesn't marry up. The words there are not marrying up with the way in how he's saying it, with his tonality. So I'm great. Yes, absolutely. The tonality and the words, they marry up. The way in how I carry myself, confident that I'm going to be able to achieve my goals. Getting rid of limiting decisions and limiting beliefs. So those are just a, a few little things to bear in mind in going and achieving your outcome over the next 12 months. Now I said I was going to give you a number of free gifts. You may or you may not already have. On the website there is a free introductory course to NLP and coaching. There is a seven steps to achieving the results that you want to achieve which is a free little mini course delivered to you once a week. There's a free ebook. But I want you to stay tuned over the next 12 months because there is so much more that I would like to give you. In fact, people often ask, why do you give away so much? And you know what? It's my pleasure to do that. Being able to share and being able to inspire. Now I've got one last final gift for you. So I'm going to give you five free sessions for five people who contact me. So let me assist you in helping you to achieve that goal or be quick. first of all become clear of the goal and achieve that goal that you want to set yourself for the next 12 months. And with that I wish you a Merry Christmas and a super fantastic New Year. And maybe the next 12 months be the best 12 months of your life. Merry Christmas.